can make it. Come on, Josephine. Gail, give her the oxygen. Come on. Josephine, too late. They can't be too late. She is too young to die. Stop it. She just got engaged to Christmas. Stop it. Come on, Josephine, please. Please. Come on, it's a stop. Stop everything we've got. Look, we both worked with Martha long enough to know that there are some patients like Josephine. I can't. Listen, they just don't get... Monica! Monica? We are not doctors. We are undertakers. We are just counting the dead. Now you just get yourself together. Right now. Now I mean it. Now we have other patients on this floor who need our help. And May you I cannot have your go on. Please. This is Dr. Steve Hardy, Chief of Staff of General Hospital. I am very grateful and pleased to announce that as of this minute, 11.43 p.m., the United States Health Department has officially okayed the lifting of the quarantine. Well, the <laughs> I will never be able to express my appreciation to the doctors and nurses on this staff who gave of themselves so tirelessly and selflessly through this crisis and saved so many lives, including mine. I would also like to thank the patients and civilians who've been here these past few weeks for their cooperation and understanding. And now I'll turn the microphone over to Dr. Lombard. But before I do, I want to say, thank God we've come through. Thank you, Steve. We request all patients to stay in their assigned rooms, please, until the nurse comes for you. And please have your blue cards ready to show the guards at the main entrance. All medical personnel are required to sign out of the lobby desk before leaving the hospital, giving the exact time of your departure. May I... Monica, did you hear that? It's over. The epidemic is over. Well, this is being really No, it's over because she's dead. And it's not over, Gail. It'll never be over for us. Monica, patients die. We're doctors. We deal with death every day of our lives. It's part of our. It's part of our profession. She was my friend, and I couldn't save her. Nobody could have. You just think. You just remember all the patients you did save. Okay, fine. When all around me, all I see is death. I can smell that. I can smell it on my hands. I, it is a part of me. Monica. Monica, you can go home now. The quarantine is lifted. You can go home now to Al. No. Well, why Leave me alone. I mean, leave me alone. No, 
I'm not going to let you out of my sight. I am fine. I am just fine. No, I don't think so. Look, I am very no, happy no. for all the people that survived this whole thing. Unfortunately, I wasn't one of them. Monica, you can't drive oh, like watch this. watch me. What are you being so stubborn for? Now move over, let me in. I said get over. Come on. Everything you're feeling inside, I lived through it with you. But it's over now. I mean, we, we got through it. You're, you're freezing. As soon as the engine's a little warmer, I can put the heater on. Oh. <laughs> We're not going to be warm. I'm not going to be warm. I have, I have lived with death for so long, I feel it. I can smell it. I can smell the awful stenches inside me. No, it's not, Monica. Don't you understand what's happened? We have lived with that incredible pressure so long, not being able to escape it or take a break from it, and, and now it's suddenly lifted. Now, you're reacting to the shock of that. It, it, it's like a diver that gets the bends because of a too sudden... It is not going to end. Rick, it isn't going to end. It's only going to get worse. It's going to get worse and worse until it destroys me, and I'm not going to let it. I can't. I'm I can't let it. You're going to sit right here in this no. car. Yes, you are. Get you on down.
don't care what it takes and how long. But you gotta learn to control us. I'm so sick of that word. I am so sick of trying. I'm sick of fighting something that's impossible. It's not impossible unless you stop yourself. And I'm not gonna let you do that. Now you're freezing. You're wet. Come on, get out of that wet sand before you catch your death. Hey, well, I care, and I care a lot. I'd rather die than go on living like this. I don't feel the cold. All I feel is the desperation of living lives. And I don't have any center to hang on to. You're too exhausted to think clearly about anything. It isn't. It isn't going to change. It's not going to change unless you make it change. Monica, you've got to control it. Yes, you can. We all can. And we're going to. My lady, you can. And God bless you if you can. Monica, it's not doing any good staying out here. But there's a deserted bait house up there. Will you go back to Leslie? Go on. No, I'm not going to leave you here. No. I'm not. I'm getting you out of this weather. I don't care if I break that door down or not, but you're coming and let's go. Come on.